Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Samox channel. Today, we're going to be building the SD Build Divers, the RX Selomaru Shin, uh, Shinkesha. Okay, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce that, but, uh, so today we technically, it says it's an SD, but technically it is an XG because, you know, uh, this Gampla contained the same thing like the Star Wing and Gundam from the Build, uh, Build Fighter series. Uh, it can transform into a high grade. So we're just gonna look at the box art, you know, the box art not, nothing really special, but we do have at the side here, so uh, action bay, action, uh, we have the, the, uh, this is the high grade mode, and then if we switch it to the other side, we can see that, uh, the introduction of the unit, and then there's the English text for you to look at the information but anyway i'm not gonna read too much so i'm just gonna you know open the box up first actually there's not much runners so you know i'm just gonna quickly do the menu instructions so first here at this at the front of the instruction menu is always the introduction about the pilot and the unit and at the back here we can see that the material base gamma is the full armor unicorn and we have all kind of weapon instruction here and all kind of color guys here. So we're just going to quickly flick through this. As you can see, it is a pretty quick process to build everything. It's just the, uh, the transformation to high gray is a pretty long, uh, it's a pretty long process. And honestly, uh, you'll get what I mean later. So. We're just gonna take out the instruction menu away first. So first we have a C2 runner. I believe this is the legs, the high grade legs, and this is the head unit. And I'm not sure which part is this. Uh, this is the F runner, mainly uh, serving as the backpack and the weapons, the bazooka at the side. This is the A2 runner. We have the main body, the connector of the body, and we have, uh, well, basically we have the joints. This is a this is a B runner. The gold here is looking kind of ugly, so I do have the gold paint, so I will kind of, you know, spray it to metallic gold. And then we have the torso, the waist part, we have the shoulders, we have the high gray head, and we have the hands option here. We have the uh, weapon, we have the feet, we have the backpack, uh, weapon again, and then we have the SD face right here. Yeah. And then we have the E runner. So this is a metallic green, but you know, it's not really good. Uh, so we do have the head of the, not, uh, the big sword. We have the uh, shoulders here. We have three shields on the back. We have I rest of it. I don't really know which part is called the witch, but this one I think is the connector between the torso and the waist. And lastly, we have the C1 runner. We have the uh, legs part. We have the a katana right here. So I will, I can I can spray paint it to uh, silver. And we have the legs the legs part here. We have the legs part again. And then I believe I, I don't really know which part goes to which part because it's very hard to tell actually. But lastly, I have something to complain. I know it's a very small model, but this is way too much sticker for a small model. This is, there is total of 79 stickers. That's horrible. You have 79 sticker on a Gampa and I, I honestly ran out of words. So Honestly, I'm not gonna expect like it have like a amazing color separation, but man, when I saw there's 79 stickers, I just I just don't feel like building it. But anyways, it's been unboxed already, so uh, I'm just gonna jump into the building process, and I will see you guys in the review. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to review and uh, this time we are going to look at this uh, RX Salomaru and <clears throat> honestly though, I need to say that I have mixed feeling towards this Gampla. You know, I, I really admire that the SDB, uh, BD or BF series that they got the ability to transform it into, you know, high grade size. But one thing, just one thing that I don't like is their lack of color separation. You know, let's be honest. Let's be honest, 70% or 80% of the color on this kit is actually 
buy stickers and it's honestly pretty disappointing you know i wish they you know do more detail part but you know it's an sd so i can't really ask very much but this is a very small scale gamper i thought i would just put the articulation into one because there's not really much to talk about with the articulation so first uh the head can move uh, 90 degrees the arms can lift up uh, spin around but there's a little bit of interruption because the head is so big and then you know the arms here they can turn the arms right here they can turn the hands down here is movable as well for the hands option we do have another one which is this kind of two finger hand and we at the back here it kind of looks like Got Gundam's design. If you if you've been watching the G Fighters, it kind of looks like Got Gundam's design, where you know they 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 really it really looked like the wings on the Got Gundam's backpack. And I don't know why the head just pop off, so I just leave the head alone. And as you can see, the high grade head is right in it. And then you know the legs can kick to to front, not really, uh, not really to the back, and uh, no way to kick to the side. And then you know can bend a little bit, and then we can see that the the legs down here is really limited movement and overall this is pretty much the articulation and if we turn it to the back you can basically see that uh there's there's a there's a little bit of color uh in the actual kit you know the gold the gray part the white part and then the green part and then the metallic tick green at the sum of the parts and honestly i didn't say though they i wish they do more color separation as i said because other than that Every color that you see, that you see those, you know, crumb up stickers, that's basically from the, um, from the what? From, <clears throat> that's from the sticker, and it's actually pretty disappointing. And the head, you know, just like the unicorn, you can actually, you know, flip it to the, flip it, flip it, you can flip it, and then, you know, turn it into unicorn mode. And I think that is pretty fun as well. Well, that's basically the SD articulation, so we're just gonna move on to another thing. Next up, we have a bird. Uh, the bird is looking pretty good, but I, as I said, I wish there will be a lot more color separation because a lot of them is basically uh, just stickers, you know, overlaid it. And I always don't get one thing, the bird is looks beautiful, but this mask down here, it actually ruined the bird design. So I'm not really sure what's the mask purpose right there because i'm looking at the menu and the mask actually have nowhere to go when you try to transform it into awaken mode or transform it into high grade mode so i'm not sure why you give me, give us the mask that have absolutely no use but anyways this is not the point so we'll just keep looking so there's a limited there's limited articulation such as the the claws down here they have a slightly move and then other than that we have the wings uh the not movable sorry like basically this is just a break they, they they don't really move but here's the thing so the shield down back here you can actually you know detach it you can detach it and then you know you can attach it on the gunpla itself so i think this is a pretty cool feature but i need to find where did it go first so you can attach this to the gunpla itself so i think that's pretty fine that kind of makes up to the um that make, kind of makes up to the shield where you can because this gunplay is based on the full armor unicorn so they do have they do feature the fact that you can carry free shield on the actual combat is pretty good but i must say that they really need to work on the joints because the joint is it's not really it's really hold, it's not really holding together and to be honest uh when the head fell off and now you look at this high gray hat it looks kind of funny actually <laughs> so now we're gonna quickly run through how you put the full armor all back on so basically you reassemble the bird and then you put the rocket launcher the claw and the part of the legs and the shield on the back and then you connect it back to the backpack itself so you know it's gonna be pretty heavy i assume and then now you can see that that looks like the full armor mode and then we and then for the legs though you just have to rotate because this will serve as the wings on the bird mode so you just have to flip it and then you know put it back on the full armor backpack right here but the standing problem is starting to get a little bit I, i'm starting to be you know concerned about the standing problem as you can see and it really falls apart i have to tell you it really falls apart i've been reshooting this scene for a lot of times and i seriously don't want to reshoot it again and 
the, that's the thing that I want to complain is the is the parts is very easy to fell off on this gamba and it's 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 just so pissed okay I, I'm just so pissed right now and I can't really say things and now you see with a slight touch this gamba is already falling apart and I just don't like it and you know if you've been watching my review you know that I always hate Gampas that fall apart so easily because you know it, it, it really adds the frustration level to the max okay and anyways this is basically how you put on the full armor mode as you can see I can't really put the full armor mode on because as soon as I touch it and it just falls apart but that's that was the that was probably like the best demonstration I can give it to you because really though i have nothing to do about it I, I really don't have anything to do about it because you know as soon as i touches it and it's just boom falls apart and uh and i i do really feel helpless and this is basically what the full armor backpack look like when you put on the uh when you when you actually separate the bird and then you know put in the parts on it and now let's get back let's go back to the uh, actual selling point is i'm gonna turn it into a high grade during the time problem i already ripped the gamma into pieces so it's kind of convenient for me to record it so first you're gonna need to take out the small high grade head from the you know big head and then what we have to do is we have to separate the tip of the big head so we can get this little piece of antenna and then snap it back on the high gray head so you had a head like this it's kind of similar right it, it looks like kind of in the anime so it looks kind of similar so now what we have to do the second part is to pull out the face from the high grade uh, i mean the sd sd face so we will have to pull it off and then now you should have separate separated pieces like this and i don't know why it keep falling off so Give me a minute. So it, you should have something like this. And then let me just move the camera a little bit far away so you can see it clear. And, <clears throat> and next up, we will need to separate the face from the, the, I mean the face from, I mean the eyes from the face, what I'm saying. So, and then we're gonna need the, connector so which i would just rip it off from the backpack so you're gonna need the connector from the backpack oops and then what you have to do is it's just like assembling and high grade you this piece is kind of familiar to high grade what we have to do is we just have to put it in to the waist like this so now it's been done so now the chest transformation is pretty much here and then what we need to do is we need to spin we're not really spinning, but we need to rotate the eyes back to the uh, position where the eyes were closed. So I'm just going to give me a minute. So now it, it turns back to the closed eyes. And what we have to do next is we need to transform it to the unicorn mode. So we'll just, you know, close the, close the horn and then, you know, slide down the face. And then just, we, we're going to use two connectors from the kit itself. So wait, actually, you have to put back the. I forgot that you have to put this thing back. Just give me a minute. It's really hard to put it back once you pull it out. I really hate to do this kind of stuff because you know, it requires so much, so many steps, and I honestly don't like it. So you're gonna need these two pieces, and you know, stick it into the, stick it into the head, and then you can have the connector on the backpack. So just give me a minute it's really hard to see so now you should have something like this and this this head here is served as the backpack and you can connect it on the back and now you can put the head back on the gamba itself so this is the first half of the transformation and now we're going to move on to other parts the arms you just have to rip off and then you know reassemble it by adding a additional piece on the backpack and this is basically how you, how you, you know, change the arms from the legs. We just have to take the wings and then, you know, slap it on to the feet. And then we just need to, you know, put a big piece on the, uh, on the legs. And then now we just have to clip it in and then, you know, stabilize it. And there we go. And you have a leg. And, and also we just, uh, and then I also forgot that to put this uh, awakened awaken green parts on the arms and then we have to put the claws uh, at the side of the arms as well. So now you have a 
complete a hand and a completed leg. And the weapon is just put on a shield on the leftover bird parts and then you just slap on the sword and then one part of the bazooka. Other than that, the accessory that we left is a gun. We will have a waist part. We will have a shield. Actually, two shield, in fact, two shield. And then you will have these two uh, backpack binders and then, you know, having this uh, scarf right here that's just left over. So before I close the video, I'll just do a quick comparison on the articulation. So uh, as you can see, the legs articulation, they do, it's not really any different and the arms is not really any different as well. So I'll say that after you change it to a high grade mode, it's still a very bad articulation. But uh, I would say that it's very impressive that by, uh, you know, it can actually swap it to high grade mode. But unfortunately, the articulation is really bad. And it, for my opinion, though, uh, for the idea and the creativity, I give it full marks. But for the articulation and the actual model presentation, I seriously need to say that unless you you you're planning to repaint the whole gamla, I suggest you just leave this out because for you know I bought it for 34 34 AUD and I seriously think this is it's kind of disappointing the color separation articulation it's not really up to uh the modern standard and it, it it's just kind of disappointing so I would say that Unless you're really interested in it, if you're not really interested in it, I think you can skip this gamble. So this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like on my video to subscribe to my channel. And um, I really need to say though, it is a really cool mechanic design. And I personally think it looks pretty good as a, you know, customization for the Unicorn Gundam. But honestly, man, the stickers, the articulation is just... <sighs> It's, it's, I, I feel kind of sad because, you know, they wasted such a de good design. I thought like it would have improved when, when it changed to the high grade mode, but it didn't really uh, upgrade the articulation. But overall though, the outside looks pretty cool. So I would say that skip it if you're not planning to repaint it because the amount of stickers is just horrible. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'll see you guys in another Gamma review. Uh, goodbye.